All right, we are playing Ryota. He just had his groove changed a bit where um, instead of just dashing through the enemy, he can also dash through his own friendly units. Uh, so we'll start with swords because we need to capture stuff. I think I want to capture the harbor first. Just let this guy capture. Or do we, do we have to go for the barracks first? Uh, let's go harbor. Our opponent is playing Valder, which is the friendly neighborhood resurrector of skeletons and super mean necromancer. All right, he's doing the same thing. Of course, he gets gets to capture this one uh, one turn sooner than I do. Um, I'm just gonna keep with the swords, I think. And he gets a pikeman, okay. Um, so we're gonna slide down here, capture, and we're gonna get Merfolk. Capture here. Uh, I think we're gonna do one more turn of swords. Is that what we're gonna do? 400. So we have 850, which means we can get can get a lot of different things. Yeah, I think we do one more one more turn of swords at least, or maybe we'll, that back that back barracks will just always get a sword, so we're using it. All right, five hundred gold. Even. Pikeman. Literally the same thing I'm gonna do. And swords. I'm I'm pretty pretty sure we both have the same exact game plan. I think I want to cross the river. See what it does up here, and it's gonna be important for what we do. All right, so he is leaving his commander where he can cap up here. So he's gonna try and beat me on gold. He did not get another C unit.
All right, so this favorable wind is going to be slightly annoying to deal with. But I think we're just going to move slightly around here. I think I want to get a Ballista next round. So we have 600. Um, am I going to lose anything? No. We have 600. So, or 600 income. So we need to save 300, so I can spend 550. Um, we're gonna get another one of you. And another one of you. All right, Ballista, or Trebuchet next round. Did I do my math right? Yep. It'd be embarrassing if I didn't. Got a second merfolk, sure. I'm assuming he's gonna capture that. Yep, there's there's that. Hmm. All right, he has his groove too, so I might might be losing up here. It's not fun. Definitely not fun by any means. So my original plan was to send this guy down to capture these. Um, I think I still do that. All right, I think I move him here because I don't mind if he hits him with this guy. Get our get our fancy trebuchet. I think we move him up and him up. Be able to shoot that one. Um, left uh, two buildings I cannot summon from all right well let's see how this works out it's gonna be favorable wins next turn for me so this will be my new sphere of influence or whatever so first turn advantage yay all right let's see let's see how that goes I'm a little nervous for this up here especially since he can move forward Summon his groove and then um, not get a crit, but he can hit my guy. By my hand, rise. Or he can just crit that, I think.
Yeah. Okay. Well, I still have my, uh, my what you call it, village for another round. So, I'm good with that. Okay. Going down. Um, I don't know. Oh, I guess to make sh to put him at max range. Sure. That's fine. Okay. Lost 70 gold there. But he kept his guy in the space and it's going to be favorable wins next round. Next turn. Cavalry. Sure. Okay. So I think we 100% killed Archer. Like that. And then I think we... 40%. Hmm. I think we just do that there. How much will that do? I don't know if that's very good either. Jeez. Alright, well, I think I do this. I move him up slightly. I get a crit. Move this guy here. Finish him off. That'll, that'll kill my guy. I'm going to move him. I'm just going to move him the body block right here. I'm gonna move him down this way. We're going to get another pikeman, another merfolk, and, uh, yep, I guess another swords. Alright, who? Okay, well, let's just finish this guy off, I guess. So he can come kill him, I guess. But now I have two merfolks that can potentially get crits on him. Or he could take my village. If he takes my village, I take it right back. Oh, I guess I didn't realize he was in range. I don't know if a 40 or a 38 guy can kill a 42 guy. It will be a crit though. Alright. And he reinforced. Okay. Um, honestly, I think a triple, triple merfolk attack here on him could do quite a bit of damage. Of course, these guys will be in range the turn after, I think. I mean, he won't gain any more groove if I do it now. So it's a pretty good opportunity. So he should be able to get at least a couple good hits here. Three spears right in a row. But they'll all be put in my trebuchet range. Well, sorta. Actually, favorable, favorable round next turn again. Okay, so he's trying to do something to where he can knock out my trebuchet. But he put himself in range of both uh, both of these guys. So I will most certainly take that attack. 
Alright, there's, there's one good hit. Alright, let's see what we can do. Um, I guess we kill that one. It's probably the, probably the best bet. Alright, let's get a crit here. It did not kill him. Um, that's okay. I think we get a nice crit here. Finish this guy off. Attack here. Finish this guy off. Sure, we have a nice, nice long line in front of our trebuchet. All right, so if we move here, that's good. That's okay. I'm just gonna do it. See how much damage I can do to him. If this one's worth it. I think it's better to get 100 gold, maybe. Recapturing that. I don't know. Alright, uh, get another merfolk. Get another pikeman. Get another swords. Maybe it wasn't even worth it. I mean, he didn't gain any groove from those two hits. It is money, but if he just walks backward. I don't know. It's all healed up in about five rounds or something. I don't know. Maybe that was dumb. I just wanted to see how much damage it would do and see if it's effective at all. Because I guess he could fall back and literally just heal up there. Now that guy is in range of at least one of these guys. And he's more than likely dead. But... Recapping this is okay. I mean, even if I lose up here, the main goal is to get this trebuchet in range where he just cannot have a barracks right here. And I feel like I'm pretty close to that. I think this merfolk might be going down here to try and counter what I'm doing here. Or maybe he's trying to reinforce because he's going to lose this really quick. Let's see what he spends his money on. Okay. Yeah, I definitely regret doing the double attack here. Because he can just spend like 275. Well, now he can't. Okay. Um... Well, I guess I technically cannot kill him. And you got a harpoon ship. I literally do not care about that thing. Twenty-four. What is happening? Hmm. Well, probably, probably not even remotely a good idea. Uh, 
I think I'll just keep fighting the merfolk and maybe just ignore him for a bit. I don't I don't really think it's worth trying to trying to finagle. All right, kill him. Um, that's crit enabled, so kill him. Oh man. Oh wait, I guess we can move here. Do some damage there. Kill him. Yep. I think we just move here. Slide up. Slide up. Slide up. Try and move everyone forward. I think this guy best to go up here. Um and just keep keep pumping up keep pumping out Merfolk. Another one of them. Six hundred though. Do I get do we get anything different than a pikeman? Um, maybe I'll get... Maybe I get my own knight. So if he's not careful here, I do have quite a bit of damage. If he, if he does really bad placement... Um, well... I guess this guy's gonna die from these two. Oh. Okay, well there it is. Um, we did some really good trades. We were more efficient with our units, I guess. Uh, he was pressuring the top, but I mean on this map, once you get the trebuchet in range of the enemy's barracks, I mean, it's pretty much over. So, good game, games. Thanks for watching. See you next time.